Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Hallelujah. If you see my title, then you already know it says that we need to stay prayed up. God was telling me, uh, and not even just like, this has been for almost a week now. You know how things happen and people say, oh, I need you to pray for me. Uh, Just blah, blah, blah. Don't want to speak anything. Blah, 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 blah. People of God. You need to stay prayed up. Let me tell you something. The enemy has come into the church and our homes everywhere and has gotten people so busy that they don't stay prayed up. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You know what I'm talking about. The world has blinded God's people to where everybody's trying to get that dollar. Everybody's trying to get recognition. Everybody's trying to be the next greatest thing since sliced bread. You know what I'm saying is true. We don't have time to pray. God says, stay in your prayer closet. Let me tell you something. My favorite scripture is Joshua 1, 8. Joshua 1, 8 says, actually it's 1, 5 through 9. It says, meditate on this word day and night, and then you will make your way prosperous. I promise you that's my favorite scripture in case anybody just ever want to know. I'm always saying that through the day and, and throughout my life because that's the scripture that God gave me. He's number one. In chapter 1 of Joshua, he says, As I was with Moses, I'll be with you, Deanna. And it's for somebody else that's on here. As he was with Moses, I'll be with you. Hallelujah. So it doesn't matter what you go through. God is with you. And some of you, you get through. You know how you just go through life and sometimes it's like, God, I feel so alone. Can I tell you, you're never alone. I don't care if no one is there. I don't care if people have mocked you, left you, family, friends, husband, lover, wives, whatever, whoever. God will never leave you or forsake you. He said, I'll be with you, low even until death. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I don't know how I got off that subject, but that's for somebody because you're feeling lonely. Don't you dare feel lonely. Uh, you, you can be alone, but you ain't lonely. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So let me stick to the subject at hand. People are not being prayed up. So when God gave me that scripture, it, it, it charged me. He says, meditate day and night. It means when you get up in the morning, Father God, thank you for waking me up. Oh, Father God, I pray that you protect my family, my friends, and even make my enemies my footstool. You didn't hear what I just said. You have to stay prayed up. Let me tell you something. Throughout the day, even when I'm with people, I'm staying and prayed up. I'll, I'll pray, you know, God, even when I get in the car. And I, I don't know why God's making me go here because I guess he, he wants you totally covered. When I get in a car, I say, Father God, angels to the east, the west, the north, and the south. I pray for traveling grace and mercy, Father God. I say no accidents, no incidents, Father God. Nothing, no car will be used against us. And this car will not be used against another car. No accident, no incidents, Father God. No deaths, no mishaps, Father God. In Jesus' name, I decree and declare to be so. Hallelujah to his name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. I pray over everything and everybody because I don't know what devil had. Let me tell you something. The devil is on his job, y'all. His job is to steal, kill, and destroy. And whether or not you know it, but you should, because guess what? We're looking at the news every day. He's on it 24-7. He got a whole arm. And come on, somebody, hallelujah. Let me tell you something, saints. We're not praying enough. We get on here, and y'all y'all spend more time on Facebook. As a matter of fact, it's the truth. Every time I go somewhere, I see everybody on their phone. I'm not saying I'm not guilty sometimes, but not all the time. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I got to stay prayed up because I don't know what the devil has against my family, my friends. Come on, somebody, me. Hallelujah. So you have to stay prayed up. So Joshua 1, they says, meditate day and night, and then you will make your way prosperous. Make That means I'm going to have some opposition. Come on, somebody. I've said this before because the enemy is always trying to move you out of position in any means necessary by any means necessary and, and he'll send who what when thing we all know what I'm saying anybody okay then it says then you should make your way prosperous then you should have good success if I don't pray then I will not make a way come on somebody hallelujah this stuff is real oh I'm going here hallelujah I feel the power of the Holy Ghost hallelujah let me tell y'all something that's why these kids are dying that's why things are happening in your marriages that's why things are happening on your job you ain't going in there sprayed up I'm talking about ready Satan I don't know what you got planned but I know it should not prosper he never said it wouldn't form but he said it's not going to prosper come on somebody hallelujah we got to go back to prayer. God has had me on there for almost three weeks now, just personally. Deanna, pray. Deanna, pray. Y'all ain't been seeing me on here. I don't do as many lives as I, as I used to. Huh? I'm praying. I'm praying for the nations. I'm praying for me. I'm praying for my family. I'm praying for who God leads me to pray for. I pray for you guys. I'm, I don't have to know you. I just put Facebook family or whatever or whoever. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. 
It's time for us to go back to prayer. I'm, I'm repeating myself on purpose. Let me tell you something. And I got to be so real. And I pray that you feel the spirit of God when I say this. You don't know when that day will come. Now, sometimes God do tell his people. Yes, he do. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a witness to that. He do tell people, hey, I'm getting ready to take you. You're going to die. But not only just death. It could be things. It could be situations. You know, some kids that are getting actually that get um that get kidnapped. If their family was to pray around the perimeter of their home or at school, I wonder how much we would stop that and back that up. You have to start walking around your home three times, pray. Just like Joshua. You know, you gotta pray. You don't hear what I'm saying. You gotta you gotta guard your gates. I'm talking about all of them. We're not praying enough. I know y'all want to get violent and y'all want to go and do something if somebody do something, but that's not that's not the way. Let's be honest. That's not the way. You're going to find yourself in, in worse situations. You're not old people say trouble easy to get easy to get into and hard to get out of. Prayer is your weapon. I'm telling you right now, God says prayer. Your, and let me tell you how slick the enemy is. He'll try to keep you busy with a job, with a man, with a woman, with a problem, with a situation, with this, with that, so you don't pray. Or you get so upset because you're like, well, I'm praying and nothing is happening. Now, the second thing about prayer, you got to wait on God. Oh, my God, I'm a witness. He ain't going to come when you want all the time. Sometimes he does. Let's be real. Sometimes he does. But sometimes, most of the time, he taking his time. It might be 12, 11, 59. It might be 10, 59. As a matter of fact, he might let the time pass and then come. <laughs> you know you know what I'm saying? Just to see if you was going to say, man, you know, whatever. Because it's about your faith. The enemy is after your faith. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. The enemy is after your faith. And let me tell you how slick the devil is. The devil tries to stop stuff. He tries to sabotage stuff. He'll use whomever, whenever, and however. That's why you got to stay prayed up. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But now there's another part of prayer. There's a three-part to prayer, by the way. Notice what I said. You got to pray before things happen. You got to pray to God at, at times, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. I don't care how many times a day you have to pray. But the third thing to prayer, the third key, you can call them the keys to prayer. He says the prayer of the righteous develop much. Ooh, ouch. How many people righteous? I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying you perfect. But the Bible says prayer of the righteous develop much. If you ain't right, well, you just praying to pray, honey. Because that actually comes in tune with it. You got to be right before God. You got to walk right, talk right, act right, be right. As a Christian, as a person. And, and, and hold on. He didn't say perfect. He said righteous. That means even when you mess up, God, I'm sorry. I repent. I apologize, God. I'm not going to do this. And, and turn from sin. Repenting means return from sin. It ain't going to do the same thing and then say, I repent. And then go do the same thing. I repent. Because now you're just lying. All these are keys to prayer. Y'all want to know why it's so much turmoil going on out there? Because the church has not really returned to prayer. Everybody's trying to get famous. Y'all, y'all know it's the truth. Y'all know, y'all know the same old thing happening. Everybody want to be the greatest. Everybody want to be the greatest apostle, prophet, evangelist. This. Everybody want to be mega. Oh man, please. Can you just be anointed? Can you just pray? And hold on. Your ministry is on different levels. You may not have a Facebook ministry. Your ministry might be right there on your job. Father God, I pray for everybody that's on this job. Satan, back up. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm saying. Wherever you at, that is your ministry. Stay in your lane. Too many people trying to do this and do that. I stay in my lane. As an apostolic leader, I stay in my lane. But hold on. Apostolic leader I ain't, is, is everywhere. So I'm going to be everywhere. I'm going to be praying. I'm going to be praying. I'm going to be praying. That's the power. Because if you can't pray and you don't have the anointing to stop stuff, then I can preach all day long and it's nothing. It's not in void. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I said. So now it's about being righteous. Father God, keep me. You got to make right choices. You got to do the right thing. Because you can't protect your family if you ain't right. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I didn't say perfect. I said righteous. God keeps telling me it's too many people, it's too many people dying unnecessary, getting kidnapped, getting killed. This generation is very angry. Hold on. I ain't talking about just the youth. I'm talking about people to grown people, just mad, ugly, nasty, and right there in the church, jealous of one another. Oh, I'm going to say it today. 
If I see it, I promise you, I'm calling on it. And you, y'all don't know, I do this for real. You can ask anybody that know me. I don't play. I'm going to say what I got to say, and you're going to do what you got to do, whatever, however. Because God is in charge. God is in control. We don't run nothing. We got to come back to the oracles of God. Come back to the oracles of love, respect, integrity, honor. The church have lost it. You don't have a right to open your mouth and tell anybody anything unless thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. You ain't got no right. Hallelujah. But the enemy then came into church and now people on Facebook tripping and person tripping. My God, my God, if we don't come back to the oracles of God, the enemy going to really take out more people, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We got to learn to forgive each other, to walk in love. Come on, somebody. I, I, I have a situation right now, and, and I was asking God, I said, well, God, I'm always the one saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I said, but this time, if you don't never speak to me again, that's on you. <laughs> and I hope they see it. I'm not calling you. We, we're not going to play this game. Oh, come on, somebody. Too grown. We're supposed to be both in the church. And I got to beg you to talk to me, to tell me what's going on if you upset. Let me tell you how you're supposed to handle a situation right now. You don't leave a situation to where you cannot talk. Communication is the best, the best thing that ever happened. Come on, somebody. You shouldn't leave a conversation not knowing what's going on, why, and when. And y'all should have a both enough integrity to say, you know what? I'm sorry I didn't do that right. I apologize, my sister, my brother. But I'm going to tell you what then got into the church. Pride. How dare they? I'm glad Jesus didn't say that while he was on the cross dying. How dare they? Because he didn't do anything and he died for all of us. So you mean to tell me that the church can't get along for two minutes to understand that we all work together? Hallelujah. Hmm. And wonder why the world acting crazy. When the church get it together, the world's going to, I'm not going to say it's going to come together because no, it's not going to get, it's not going to get better. But we as a church should have more integrity, more honor, more love. Come on somebody, hallelujah. Because if they don't see it, they sure can't produce it. Come on somebody, hallelujah. Tell me what God say. Prayer, prayer. You know, I'm going to tell y'all again this story and, and y'all have heard it before, I think. When I was teaching, um, one of the books is called Piercing the Darkness by Frankie Peretti. He's the real, oh, n never got famous. But this man started spiritual warfare. I mean, this was in the 80s. The, man, that man is so Frank E. Peretti. He is the bomb.com, let me tell y'all. And he has a book called Piercing the Darkness. And God gave him so much insight. Oh, my God. And I have to tell you this. He, so I read the book. It's pretty thick, okay? I'm going to tell you now. It's pretty thick, but still read it. It's a very great read, and you'll learn so much. But what he said is that every territory, you know, like some cities and some states you go in, you can feel so light. You're like, oh, I like this city. I like this state. And let's say if you go into Chicago or another city, it feels so like, oh, my God, I can't wait to get out of here. It's so much anger, stuff like that. You want to know what he says that God showed him, and it makes perfectly sense, and I asked God, so I know it's true. He said, because each saint, in each each saints, okay, the saints in each city. If we're praying, like I'm in Augusta, Georgia, right? So if we have a lot of saints praying here, then it's gonna be lighter because guess what? We're winning. Whoever prays the most wins the city. And yes, the evil people pray to the devil. So y'all understand what that means? So if we're not praying, then that means they winning. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Oh, this stuff real. This stuff real because I don't care. I don't know. Some of y'all think we just in the world. Honey, we in two kingdoms. Either you in the kingdom of God or you in the kingdom of the devil. Quit playing. Quit playing. This ain't TV, honey. This is real. Got to pray. Stop praying P-R-E-Y on each other, against each other. And some of you don't like nobody to tell you nothing. Well, you sure don't want me as a friend because I'm going to tell you something. My friends, hey, they, could, they have the right to do it to me. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're right. You're right. Somebody's supposed to call you on it because that's integrity. That's the standard of the church. And that's the, what we're supposed to do. You're dirty. You're dirty. Somebody's supposed to tell you. You're out of order. You're out of order. Now nah, nobody don't want to tell them. Don't tell them nothing. Oh, oh God going to work with them. Yeah, God going to work with them because I'm going to tell them. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready for me. Whew. 
I'm just telling you what God said. Hallelujah. And, and I, I want to bring something up. And this is not to sell no book. You go to the website. You get it. You get it. You don't. You don't. But God is making me bring this up. That's why we have so much church hurt. And I wrote this book. It's a very powerful book. I'm not just trying to sell it. It talks about past hurts, relationship hurts, family hurts, friend hurts, enemy hurts. That's why we can't pray together. So much people at church hurt. Oh, they did me this. I'm going to tell you something. I could tell y'all so many stories that will make y'all cry up here the way I was doing, especially in Sacramento. I forgive all those people. And I'm going to tell you right now because they made me strong. Hallelujah to his name. Y'all don't hear me. They made me strong, honey. I prayed like I ain't never prayed. I cried like I ain't never cried. But they made me strong. Hallelujah. I thank you. Mm-hmm. And ain't mad at all. Some of you get mad and that bitterness get inside of you and you can't even pray because you have unforgiveness and then you get bodily sickness, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Y'all have to learn to forgive for you. You understand? It ain't even about the other person. It's about you. Because now you can't even, you know, somebody might, God might send somebody to bless you in your life and you can't even receive them because you're still mad at so-and-so. And, and, and I'm about to trip some of you up. God might even send the same person to you. And because of something that happened before, you miss your blessing this time. Well, they did this last time. That's why you got to have a hear, a ear to hear God. Because that person might have changed. You don't know you changed. Come on, somebody. How is it that God can change us, but he can't change nobody else? Mm-hmm. The devil is a lie. The same grace and mercy that God extends to you every day is the same grace and mercy that we're supposed to extend to others. I wish y'all stopped being so hypocritical. And that's all God told me to say. So let me get about it here. God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who you are. God bless.